Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about different types of C instructions that are used in C programming language. So let's begin. C instructions are the instruction given to the compiler by our program to perform certain tasks or to do certain actions. Basically, these instructions are of three types. The first is type declaration instruction, the second is arithmetic instruction and the third is control instructions. So we will talk about these one by one. Now first let's talk about the type declaration instruction. These are the instructions which are used when we are making a variable. Basically for any variable it must have some data type. For example, if I want to use a variable name, let's say i, then I have to write its data type also. For example, data type could be int. So here our int keyword is an example of type declaration instructions. Similarly, we can write here care and let's see name of our variable is c. Then here care keyword is also a kind of type declaration instruction. Okay, similarly for float, it is also a kind of type declaration instructions. Basically type declaration instructions are the instruction when we write a data type to make a variable, right? So here integer, care, float, writing all this will means that these are the type declaration instructions, okay? Then we have arithmetic instruction. These instructions are used to perform the operation between variables and constants. For example, let's say here is a variable i, then I write here i equals to 2 plus 2, right? So basically I perform some sort of operation here, arithmetic plus operation and assign the result into the variable i, right? So this statement here is an example of an arithmetic instruction. We can also write, let's say printf percent d and if I am performing an operation like i minus 1, right? So this here is also an example of arithmetic instruction, right? And also we can perform operations between the variables also. For example, I can also write here s multiply by s, right? So basically some sort of operation is going on and these operations are carried out by the arithmetic instructions. Other operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus can also be applied in the arithmetic instructions, right? Now let's talk about the control instructions. Control instructions basically determines the flow of control in a program. For example, if we see here, first of all, our control will go in the main function, right? So basically our program execution from starts from the main. So then after that, this line will execute. So control will go here. Then after that, the control is will be here. Then after that, the control will be here. And after that, control will be here. So basically, Right now the control is going from our upward to the downward direction and after that our control will go in this end, end of our curly braces and our program execution will terminate, right? So basically control instructions are of four types. The first is sequence control instruction, then selection, then repetition and then there is case control instructions, right? So if we see here in this program, the control is going in a sequence way. So this is an example of sequence control instruction. Now sequence control instruction determines or ensures that the execution of our program will be as same as written in this program, right? So this is our sequence control instructions, right? Then we have selection or decision control instruction. Basically, the control will go according to the condition. For example, here there will be, let's say a condition, let's say if one is equal equal to right and if it is true then execute these line and if it is not then execute these lines okay in the else block right like this so if the condition will be true these the execution or the control will go here and if the condition is false then the control will go here basically we will talk about this when we will talk about the if else in c programming Right? These, these remaining instructions will be talked in the later videos based on their particular section. For example, this in, these instructions are basically the if else instruction in C. Then we have repetition control instructions or the loop control instructions. Right? We will study about this in loops. Right? So what will happen? We will write here, let's say a loop right? and then its body. Okay, so basically what happens, the control should go in this direction, but 
if the condition will be true then the control go back from where it is started right so basically some loop will be there which will keep on repeating itself until the condition here become false right so we will discuss about the loops in the loop sections then we have case control instruction basically in it we use the switch case right we write here switch and some values inside it and then in its body we write cases here right then some statement let's say this is statement number 1 then break right then let's say another case and let's say statement 2 break and then at the end we generally like default and then break right and since the value is equal to 2 so the control will go back to here okay it will leave whatever is written above it and whatever will be after the break keyword okay so basically we will talk about case control instructions in switch case videos right switch case right so each of these topics like if else loop switch case will be talk in the great detail in the upcoming videos for now just remember there are basically four types of control instructions right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video